Hello everyone, here at the Australian exhibit, besides bouncing wallabies and awkward looking emus, you will be able to see two black swans that are unique just to the island of Australia. The black swans of Australia is one of the largest waterfowl and is typically found in the southern hemisphere. So just like the name, these black swans are black instead of the regular familiar white. Now black swans are native to Australia, just like how white swans are native to the United States. Black swans are large and graceful birds, and both genders are black in color, with red bills that have a white band near its tip. They have gray legs and feet, and white primaries that are only seen in flight. Black swans have fine grooves along their bills that help them grip their diet of underwater plants. Now male swans are called calves, while female swans are called pens, and their young are called cygnets. Black swans will molt once every year, and they actually mate for life. Now in southern Australia, where these black swans are native to, they begin their nesting in June and July. However, the nesting season varies with the rains in other regions. Large nests are made out of twigs and reeds and water plants, and they are lined with down. Typically, about 4 to 10 greenish-white eggs are laid, and incubation is about 35 days. Now, both parents will take turns incubating the eggs while raising their young. And here at the Blank Park Zoo, we actually have two female black swans. Black swans can live for a very long time, and in captivity, it is not uncommon for them to live between 45 and 50 years. Black swans are very adaptable birds, and being highly adaptable, they are a thriving population. Well, the next time you come to the Blank Park Zoo, be sure to look for these two black swans who are usually found swimming in the pond in the Australian exhibit.